Hi everyone, happy Earth Day, and welcome to Bird Feed for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. Today's video is a shoebox gift unboxing for Operation Christmas Child, and I've packed this one for a two to four year old boy, and because today is Earth Day, it has an Earth Day theme. Not that a two to four year old boy needs to concern himself with the purpose of celebrating Earth Day, but it gave me the opportunity to put together a really fun box for a little boy with some really cool toys that I know he's gonna love. I decorated the inside of the lid with some Earth Day clip art of a boy and a girl, a little boy and girl, hugging the earth and hearts going up into the heavens and I added a verse from Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then over here, I added the words, we love earth. And when he opens his box, this is what he'll see. I think the first thing this little boy might pull out of his box is this truck. This is a Fisher Price Little People Recycle Truck. I have utilized the space in the back and in the cab uh, to pack his socks because I didn't want to waste any space in the box. And it has a Little People driver, recycle driver, has some recycling that goes in the back. A lot of extra space for this little boy to cart around any of his treasures that he wishes. It's just a great truck just as all the Fisher Price little people trucks are. Then his socks, I gave him two pairs, a silly monster pair. That's the back and the heel of the socks. That's the front and a pair of black ankle socks. The inspiration for this Earth Day themed box was this t-shirt that I got last year after Earth Day on clearance at the Children's Place. And I just love the colors. The colors on camera are a little washed out, but this is a very pretty turquoise blue or aqua blue with the blue and green earth and it says on it make every day earth day i picked this one up in a 5t for him and i'm pairing it with a pair of black cargo shorts from walmart that i got for a dollar on clearance these are the Garanimals brand and it has functional pockets with Velcro closure and a drawstring and elastic waist. The shorts are in a 4T. And I gave him a pair of sunglasses because when you're out in the environment, you need to be wearing some shades. And these are the same color blue as the earth in his shirt. Another toy that I've packed for him that I think he will love is his soft, cute little plush dog. This is a Build-A-Bear workshop dog that I caught at Goodwill quite some time ago, back before the prices skyrocketed, um, back when you could buy this size stuffy for 50 cents because that's what I paid for him. It still has the Build-A-Bear workshop tag on him. His name is Spot, and he was originally $10, but I got him for 50 cents. New with tags, and he's a cutie. I love that puppy. His coloring book is Paw Patrol, and I gave him Paw Patrol because one of the Paw Patrol pups is a recycle pup. The one in green here, his name is Rocky, and so, I thought that was a perfect choice for his coloring book. And to color in that coloring book, he's got some jumbo 
crayons. I also gave him a card game. It's a two-in-one card game, Crazy Eights and Matching. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's a great little set of cards. Look at all the cute pictures on the back. And I gave him this because the dog on the front of this reminds me of his stuffy. He also reminds me of one of the Paw Patrol pups, not Rocky, but Chase, the police pup. So he's got a game. He's got a set of wrist bells in green and a crank flashlight. I gave him the crank flashlight because you don't have to use batteries. So makes it a little bit more environmentally friendly. And I'm leaving the tag on just in case the child or caregiver has never seen one of these before and doesn't know how it works. It doesn't have too much instruction on it, but it is written in English and French and it does say recharge by squeezing and then has a, an image with this out and cranking it and an arrow. So hopefully they'll be able to figure that out or maybe they are already familiar with a crank flashlight. He's got a couple of pairs of underwear, one with outer space planets on it, and one is Paw Patrol. I've also given him a green bandana that was contributed by my friend Denise L. She sent a bunch of different colored bandanas and this one works perfectly for his shirt and this shoe box. He has a composition notebook for when he starts school and it says save the planet on it. I got that from the Dollar Tree. And a green pencil pouch filled with school supplies. He's got pencils, three of them are decorated with bugs and frogs. Bugs and frogs. He's got a couple of washable markers, a pair of scissors with a green handle, and a rainbow colored eraser. He also has a green enclosed pencil sharpener. He has a green comb that I recently got on Temu, a dozen for I think a dollar eighteen, and a green toothbrush that I've slipped into these handy dandy, um, they're called pretzel rod bags, contributed by Joan Cowan last year, and I still have some left. They're great for fitting toothbrushes. I made this one into a whole little hygiene kit by including a, this is a Hulk because it's green, lip balm, and some band-aids. I think these are the Fisher Price band-aids that I recently picked up at the Dollar Tree and they probably have animals on them. And this kid has his own trash can or recycle bin. I think it's actually intended to be a trash can for your car. You put it in your cup holder but I thought it was perfect for this shoe box because I filled it with goodies and he can use it as a container or a cup for himself. I filled it with some wooden toys and it just works like so. So he can have a lot of fun stuffing things in there if he'd like or he can use this as a, a drinking cup and packed inside were these wooden block toys. I gave him a traffic light and a stop sign. He's got a couple of trees, a couple of kitty cats, and a couple of dogs. All things that he might encounter while he's driving his recycle truck around. He's gonna have to stop at traffic lights and stop sign. And he might even pass by some cats and dogs. And then he can dump his recycling into his recycle truck. 
and it wouldn't be an Earth Day box without a replica of the Earth, now would it? So I gave him a blow-up Earth beach ball that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are great for any age box. They don't take up much space and a lot of fun to play with. And I've given him a very elementary book about planet Earth. This one is one of those step into reading books. Step one, the amazing planet Earth. And it's filled with colorful, fun images throughout. And a little story about the planet Earth that I think he'll enjoy. He has a Christmas card and letter and photo from me. And the last thing in his box is a reusable tote bag so he can tote all his items home or to school. Mother Earth thanks you. That came from the Dollar Tree. Thanks for hanging out with me today for a little OCC inspiration. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas for packing your shoe boxes this year. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to comment and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.